Welcome back to the KX Developer Demo. We're going to get started and show you some of the key features of the developer platform. Um, and the first thing I'm going to show you is how we would import code from GitHub. Um, so for our demo, we have all of the data and functions that we need for the demo, but I'm going to show you what we would do if we had to start from scratch and import from GitHub. So what we do is we right click on our workspace here, we click Git, we go to clone, and then in this origin section here, this is where we'll paste the URL of the repo that we want to clone into our workspace. So if I hop over to GitHub here, this is the KX machine learning um, repo that I'm just going to use as an example. In code, we copy this URL and then we pop back over to our uh, workspace and we just paste that into this origin section here. Hit OK. And then you'll see that you have an option um, to choose any of the branches of that repository. We're just going to stick with master and just hit OK. And then this populates in our workspace here. So we have a whole separate repository for the machine learning part. You can also import code from your local machine as well, if needs be. So for our back to our demo, um, and what we're going to do is use our table importer to import the data into our workspace. So if we go to tools here and then table importer, um, and then in file path here, we hit browse. And remember from before that our data is all in dev data. We hit trips, and this is the New York taxi data that we're going to use, um, the data set that we're going to use for the duration of our, our demo today. So hit select and it populates a little preview down at the bottom here for you. Um, you can choose if your source format is a different, uh, a different in a different format. You can choose um, a different option there at the top. You can choose a different delimiter. Um, you can choose lines to skip, etc., etc. There's a few different options there to choose from. And then at the bottom, you get a preview of what your table will look like. So you can choose to view that as a table or as text. And the text is just the raw file itself. So if we hit next, then um, you'll see that the developer has actually made a best guess at what um, the schema should look like um, for each of the columns. And it's given it a type as well. Um, so without using any key code, what I can actually do is update this schema um, and change the types. Um, for example, so if I want to change the passengers um, to a long from a short, I just go into the drop down here for the type and hit long. And then I'm also going to change um, these rails into floats here as well. So I'm going to do this for every one of these. Just click into the drop down and change it to a float. And you'll see as I go through these, these up, will update. The types will update in the table on the right hand side as well, in the sample of the table. So then I can have one last look at the table, make sure it looks okay, make sure everything looks grand. And then I'll hit next. The last thing that we do here is decide what we want to do with our table. So um, if the table already exists, we can choose to override it or append it. Um, I'm going to override because our table doesn't exist. In our workspace yet. Um, and then lastly you can choose whether you want to export it to a new place um, or just import the table to the workspace. So we're, we are just going to import it into our workspace and then hit finish. <clears throat> so now if we want to have a look at, what, at the data that we've just imported we can head over to the scratch pad but you can also just use um, this little scratch pad button here and that will copy the text in these little boxes over into the scratch pad for us. So you'll see here that's inserted from the markdown. So to run these in the scratch pad, to run these lines, you put your cursor on the line that you want to run and use control D to display it in the console here. So I now have this table trips that I can look at and the count of it is 10,000 rows. If I want to just look at the top five rows of the table, I can control D on that line and it'll just give me a little preview of what the table looks like. So I can have a scroll across here and see all the different columns of the table. <clears throat> if 
If I want to have a further look at the table and inspect it further, what I can do is type trips in to the table or type the table name into my scratch pad here, right click and inspect. And this will open up the visual inspector here. Um, so this is just another way of looking at your data. Um, and you can you can also change it into a chart. So if I wanted to um, have another look at this data, I can scroll down to histogram. Um, I can change this to, I'll change the X column to passengers. Um, and for a histogram, we want to enable the fill color. We'll do the average number, the average total of passengers. Um, and then to refresh this uh, main view here, what I do is I use this little update button. It doesn't rerun the query, it just refreshes the view. Um, and we can see the, path, the number of passengers here then as well. Um, we can also see that there is a, a number of, um, there is an amount of journeys that have zero passengers. Um, and what we can do in that case if I close this and go back to my demo, um, what I can do is if I want to clean those, uh, if I want to clean those trips from the data, what I can do is copy over these two lines um, and just to have a look at it, we'll see how many, how many um, trips there are where there are zero passengers. And you'll see here that there are five so if I want to remove those and rewrite the table, uh, I can run this, this next line. That just overwrites the table, um, deleting where there is zero passengers. Um, and then if I run this line again, you'll see that we have in fact removed um, those, those journeys from the data. <clears throat> the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the use the data that we have in the table to create um, a speed column and add that extra column to the table. So if you join me in the next video, that's what we'll do.